Hey Pisces and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So today we're going to take a look into your recent past, your current energy and your future. We're going to see what the universe would like you to know. I also do personal readings, so if you're interested in booking one, I will leave my website in the description and you can check it out. But let's get into today's reading. Messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. What does Pisces need to know at this time? Messages for Pisces. Okay, in your recent past, you have the King of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Hermit. Okay. Okay. Pisces, I feel like you've kind of just been focusing on yourself. You might be feeling like you just don't really want to deal with many people recently. It's like you've got the close people to you, the people that you know you can trust. But when it comes to others outside of that, I feel like you're really keeping to yourself. You're spending a lot of time, you know, on your own. It's like you're figuring things out. You're trying to figure out what it is that you want. You might feel like... Like you need to go through this period of healing... You've gained a lot of wisdom though. I feel like there's experiences that you've been through that have taught you that you can't trust everyone. And yeah, there may have been a time in your life where you were around a lot more people. Perhaps you had a lot more friends, but were they really people that you could rely on? No. So yeah, it may feel like you spend a lot more time now either by yourself or with a certain few individuals that you trust. But I feel like you have cut ties with a lot of people from your past. There could have been something that happened that made you see that you needed to be a lot more selective with who you surround yourself with. And who you share your ideas with, your personal, you know, business with. I feel like there were people that were around you for the wrong reasons. Like they might have wanted to be around you, you know, when you'd want to go out and you'd have fun and you would be kind of in that free spirited energy. But then when you were going through something where you needed someone, those people were nowhere to be found. So yeah, I feel like there could have been something that happened in your life that you were going through and it made you see who you can really rely on, who are the people that really care about you. And you might have been surprised. There could have been people that let you down that you thought would have been there. But yeah, there was definitely a destined event here that happened in order to show you who the true people are who the people, who the fake people are and who are the people that you can count on. But there's independence here. I feel like you had to get to a point where you are happy in your own company, where you enjoy spending time by yourself. And I think that's what you've been working on. You've been building a life that makes you happy so that you don't need to kind of be distracted from it. You know, you don't need to constantly be around others. You can sit with yourself and you can be happy with who you are. And I feel like there was a time where you wasn't. So yeah, there's definitely been a lot of healing that's taking place. Your boundaries as well. It's like you've worked on having boundaries and being very kind of strict on how you allow people to treat you. I think that you, you're very aware of the fact that you have control of who you allow into your life. So there could have been times where people let you down and it's almost like you don't want to be a victim, like you don't want to sit there and you know, feel sorry for yourself. It's like you're not doing that. You're going to be very selective with who you allow into your life. And if somebody shows you who they are, you'll believe it. You're not going to try and fix someone or try to, you know, give someone chance after chance. So 
yeah, there could have been a time in your life where you were the opposite of that, Pisces. Perhaps you used to, you know, try to help people that were showing you time and time again who they really are. Or you might have tried to see the best in people that let you down a lot. There's a big shift when it comes to your boundaries. And people are picking up on that. People can see that you're choosing yourself now. And yeah, I feel like some people might not like it. They might see, they might feel like you've kind of just, like, that you've cut ties with them and that you've kind of stepped away from the connection. But it's like they can't see the reason why. They don't understand that actually you tried, that like you tried your very best. Let's clarify. So we have new opportunities, possibilities and paths are opening up. Turkey, someone is behaving stupidly. Fair woman, dealing with a relationship with a woman with blonde, grey or white hair. Stepping into a new experience. And shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Okay. So you're ready to do something new here. You're stepping into a new experience. I feel like the second that you started to focus on yourself and you separated yourself from toxic energies, negative people, you started to notice the new possibilities in your life that were available to you. And I think it's because you like whoever you're around, that energy is going to rub off on you. It really is. And I feel like when you're around the wrong people, if you're spending time with people that, you know, don't kind of take responsibility, you know, people that are reckless or people that are behaving stupidly, and like that's going to affect you and it's going to affect the opportunities that you have, the places that you could end up. So I feel like you've really taken a step back from certain people in your life that perhaps their morals don't align with yours. There's definitely this energy here where you've grown apart from people. There is a woman here with fair hair that is significant. There could have been someone that doesn't understand why you've chosen to take your own path. And they can't see it because you don't agree with their behaviour. You don't agree with something that they're doing. Or perhaps you behaved stupidly when you would, like, when you weren't choosing yourself and you weren't focused on your path and your journey, you may have felt like you would fall into toxic habits or things that you knew weren't really going to benefit your life. So this could be habits that perhaps weren't very good, you know, drinking, smoking, whatever this was, I feel like you're aware of it. You're aware that you don't want to fall into that pattern. In your current energy, we have the death card, the chariot, justice, and the ace of pentacles. Wow. Something here is over. There is definitely an ending. The death card and the chariot, it's like not only is it done, but you're not looking back. You're not looking back to that life, to that way things used to be. I feel like there's a part of yourself that you don't ever want to go back to. A side of yourself that, like you just, you don't even feel connected to that version of yourself anymore. You're ready for this new chance, this fresh start in your life. I think that you could have been trying to fix something for a very long time or trying to make things better in a situation or environment that was not good for you. And it's like this realisation that the only way you're going to get this fresh start and this new beginning is to fully let go, to not look back, to just kind of understand that you gave all that you can 
and accept that you need to move forward. You need to just focus on what's to come. The Justice card being here. I feel like you went through a lot, Pisces. And I don't think many people realise just how difficult things were at one point for you. With the Justice card, I feel like balance is coming back into your life. I'm getting this energy here that you weren't treated very fairly by somebody around you, someone that you could have had a lot of trust in or someone that you loved a lot, that you could have given a lot of chances to. And I feel like you now, like you're not, you're not letting this affect you anymore. You're not letting this be a part of your life now. It's almost like you're leaving it to the universe to, you're not about giving karma to other people. You understand that if somebody has done something wrong to you or to people, then the universe will give them their karma. Like they will learn their lesson at the right time. They will go through something that teaches them to see what they've done and to understand things. But I feel like you, you could have felt a lot of anger towards this. You may have felt like you wanted this person to see like the pain that they caused and to understand how something affected you. And you could have been holding on to that. You may have been holding on to those feelings that you had. However, I see in your current energy, it's like you're not, you're not even spending any time or any energy on this situation anymore. But yeah, this is a very intense feeling that I'm getting when I'm looking at these cards. I feel like you're done with something. You're done with holding on to this. We have fly, a period of ill health and depression. Broken wishbone, a wish will not be granted. Fair man, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, grey or white hair. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Let's get one more for current energy. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness and understanding. Okay, so yeah, you may feel like you're kind of going through it at the moment. You may feel like there's... You can't understand why something didn't work out the way that you wanted. It's like you can't see why you couldn't have this thing that you were wishing for. And it might seem like... It might seem like things are very challenging right now. I think you've come to terms with the fact that somebody here is just stuck in their ways. Like you will not be able to show this person or teach this person a lesson. You just can't. You can't get through to this person. This is someone that needs to learn their own way. But one thing I will say, Pisces, is even though it doesn't make sense right now and you feel like you're having to start again because some, you've almost feel like you've been forced to start again and to have this fresh start, just know that you have gained so much knowledge from this, so much understanding. This is going to be a big part of your journey. In the future, this situation that you've been through, it really has shaped you to a stronger person and I feel like that's something that you need moving forward it is going to really benefit you the lessons that you've learned the things that like the wisdom that you've gained even though it was painful even though it feels like things have just been a struggle I feel like you have learned now to have very clear boundaries and to listen to your gut Let's have a look at your future energy. Okay, we have the devil, the hanging man, the knight of pentacles, and the page of cups. Okay. Pisces. 
somebody here feels like things aren't done with you. And this is somebody that is not good for your soul. They really are not. This is someone that I feel like brings out a side of yourself that you do not like. This person really triggers you in a lot of ways. It's almost like they're waiting around, like they want... They can't, They expect that things are going to like, get back to how they used to be, even though I feel like you've, you're done with this. So there could be somebody that you've let go of that was not good for you, that made you, they just made you act a way that you didn't like, that is going to try to come back around. This is the type of person as well that says all of the right things, like this person knows how to seem very genuine. This is coming out as a warning. This person has not changed. They are going to show up when you are in a stage in your life well, where you're very focused on something and you've got a lot of good things going on around you. And this person is going to seem very genuine, but you need to trust your intuition. This person has not changed, Pisces. We have the Hierophant. I feel like you're being tested. The Nine of Wands, look at that. It's like you're going to get so close to reaching a goal, to get into somewhere, and then suddenly this shows up. This is someone that does not have the same morals as you. This person... I feel like that was one of the things that you would argue with this individual about a lot was their values or the things that they thought were right. Like you just did not agree with the way they had certain beliefs. And then we have the two of cups. Okay. So there is a connection that's showing up here that is very powerful. This is a separate connection. This is somebody that is coming into your life that is going to make you feel at ease. This person is going to show you that they want to see you do well. They want to see the best in, in your life. You know, they want to see you happy. But I feel like you're going to be almost a little bit reluctant to give this person a chance because of everything that you've been through, everything that you've had going on. It's like you don't really know how to trust this person or how to be vulnerable with them. Yeah. It's almost like you're guarding yourself, like you've got this guard up. Let's clarify. We have triumph over troubles and obstacles. Someone new is entering your life. Yeah, this is a new person, Pisces. This is someone new coming into your life. And I feel like this toxic person from your past is going to show up as a test. But also, at the same time, I feel like you're going to really feel like you're struggling with seeing this person for who they are because of past trauma and issues that you've dealt with. It's like you, you struggle to fully let this person in. Let's clarify. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. Yeah, it's like you're going to be questioning, is this sincere? And it's because you've been through so much before where, you know, people have let you down. People have been in your life and you thought you could trust them. They've seemed like they've had everything to offer you in their cup. You know, they're coming towards you with all of these promises, all of these words saying all of the right things. And then they've let you down. So when this proper connection shows up that you can trust, of course you're going to feel like you don't really know whether to trust it or whether to believe in this. We have you will be shown the way. There's going to be signs. Great good fortune. Yeah, your luck is about to change, Pisces. I feel like you're about to meet someone who's going to show you what true love is, like how a connection can be. Feeling tired down or frustrated. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, there is healing that needs to take place here. And I feel like when this shows up, when this new person enters your life, it's going to show you like the, the trauma that you do still have, the feelings that you have that may be unresolved. But I feel like you're going to you're going to just know, like you're going to see little signs around you that tell you that you can be vulnerable, that you can open up. But I feel like it's going to be very difficult for you. All I can say is the way that this person reacts to things when you may shut off, when you may feel like you can't let them in, it is going to show you that they're very patient. Like this is someone that is willing to kind of just keep showing up and to keep proving to you time and time again that they're not they're not going to let you down. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reading, Pisces. Please let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.